<laughs> yeah, we were like, well, first we were making laps around the park, and then we found out about the fountain. We were like, maybe we made laps around the fountain. Yeah. <laughs> We have a small group already forming. Um, I think that not many people are going to show up today. Whenever it's a rainy Saturday, the Saturday meetup doesn't really happen um, to be crowded. It's a pretty small meetup every time. Uh, today is a little bit different from a usual meetup. Instead of just standing around for two hours, we're going to start doing a photo walk maybe midway through um, just so then everybody can like walk around take photos uh, and chat while we're seeing some of New York City I think that that's gonna be really fun a little different got some coffee from uh, Le Pain Quotidian this is my first day back in the city after my my cruise so feel pretty good I hope a couple new people show up so then we can do a big photo walk um, and hopefully meet some new photographers along the way. Yeah, I'm gonna go back over there and chat with people. So we just hung out, we had bagels, we had coffee, um, the sun is now out. I knew the sun was going to come out. Now we're going to be doing a photo walk. This is going to be a little different from the regular meetups. It's 11.30 now, the last half hour we're going to be walking north to Central Park with the group of people that are here, all the photographers. Hopefully maybe interview them on some, some of their process and what they're looking for while they're taking <laughs> photos. I want to get here so the strap doesn't block anything. Oh, I was looking for the uh, I don't know. Right, right here is cool. Not using it today. Uh, That's so cool. Yes. Everyone grab their cameras. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Almost like, how long is it going to take us? Because I can see us all stopping like, wait, let's I get a picture know, of that. Yeah. But the one he went back. Like a and then the, the stop sign. Uh, yes, I did. Oh, wow. That is. Uh, I can't see it. There. Nah, that'd be right. <laughs> what? Well, nice to meet you. Uh, love your shots, buddy. Love Thank the shots. You. Love Appreciate the videos. It. Love that the videos. means a lot. Oh, let's go to Rockefeller. Oh. Was that the. Of a was that one of the first times you've been recognized? That was the yeah, first time. I mean, <laughs> that was the first time. Yeah. It's the first time that's ever happened. Wow. Wow. I didn't, you know, it's like pretty wild that. He recognized me from that in New York. It's like, yeah, that was very lucky, but really cool. That's so dope. <laughs> so this is the first photo walk that I'm hosting. And what I'm noticing is that I have to kind of like herd the photographers. So we have a couple back here that are still taking photos. And then we have a couple that are walking forward. So I'm trying to stay in between where I can keep track of everybody. Jerry just got recognized for the first time in the city and I think that that's pretty special and I kind of want to talk to him about the creator journey and what what that means to him and how that makes him feel and I kind of want to talk about what I think it means to start feeling like that recognition not only like from your content but like feeling it in person I think that that's like a really special feeling of recognition for what you are putting your time into I want to talk to him about that because I think it's special when people get that first. It's not a friend, it's not your family, it's a complete stranger finding you on the street and saying that they appreciate what you do. I think that there's something to talk about there so I'm gonna try to catch up with him and maybe after the photo walk we'll talk about it a little. There's a duck across the street or a person in a duck costume. I think everyone's gonna try to get a picture of this. Oh yeah. What's up, Tom? What's up? What's your experience with street photography? So, I'm having a ton of fun, but I'm also, I haven't taken one photo, I'm just taking B-roll, and I'm having a ton of fun. So it sounds I, a lot like what I'm doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, photography, videography, I, I'm more video, but 
Only difference is I'm hitting the record button, the photographers hit the shutter button. Do you think street videographer is a thing? I yeah. think that's a thing. Yeah. I think people and capture moments. Handheld zoom lens, pans, um, you know, you just have to know your camera movements. I think that's borderline what a like a vlogger is, yeah. especially in the city. You Part of your job is to record your own story and your experience, yeah. but also record anything you see. Yeah, well it, it yeah. takes some practice because you don't want to be like walking and panning and doing... Cameras don't like walking and panning. They like straight shots, walking, they like panning or stand still and just hold it steady. What do you think is like the mark of a like a great street photographer? Their ability to see what we all see, but being able to actually take a picture of it and, and it's just like, oh my God, like I, I see that every day. How come I couldn't do that? Taking something so simple, like anything you see and being able to, to just make it look awesome. So we have Bayon here. You've been to a couple meetups. Did yes, you come last week? Uh, I believe so, yes. Okay, so you've been to three. Yes, I have been three. to three. Cool. Uh, Bayon, what do you think is the mark of like a good street photographer? Ooh. One who doesn't give up. One who can get inspiration from nearly anything. Because for me, I find inspiration through music. I find inspiration through people like you who post uh, pictures, videos, and I see true art behind those things. So there's tons of interesting people that share inspiration. So like nearly every day, I, fi I, find, I find something cool, I wanna do it. Like, what are we doing? Awesome. So we could do it a few ways. We could go left here, we could go back, make a right, um, still find a way to send it. Is this like a parade? What is this? Yeah. Uh, just, some, just some nonsense right now. Oh, so this is all for uh, house well, and protest. Oh, no, at 3 p.m. Okay. Uh, okay. Do you guys want to stay on this block or move down? Or it's a parade. Move down? I'm not really sure. Yeah, yeah, That's what we're trying to figure out too. Head up. Yeah, yeah we're, we're welcome. Six. Okay, okay. Avenue of the Americas. Okay, we're coming up to the end of our photo walk because here's Central Park going up from Bryant Park all the way to Central Park it's it's a really fun walk especially to like look around and take photos and just feel all the energy I love it Liam I have a question for you yeah what's up I asked everyone else <laughs> what what do you think is the mark of a great photographer or like a street photographer Ooh, that's a good question well I think um, opening yourself up to um, experimentation, uh, opportunity, and when I say opportunity, I mean what you want to photograph. So that could be fashion, it could be architecture, it could be nature, still life, a combination. Some people get a little more specialized, but you just have to open yourself up and see, hmm, how comfortable do I feel doing this? And maybe you don't feel comfortable initially, but if you keep at it, you'll come out of your shell, so to speak, and it comes second nature, I guess you could say. I'm with the hair right here. It comes second nature to you. Yeah, you did got you get it. I did. I did. Oh, wow. um, <laughs> that was so sneaky. You know, it takes oh, a lot of uh, practice, and I got a lot of an inspiration from a photographer who sadly passed away recently. Named uh, I didn't know him personally. His name was John Free, and he did a lot of, uh, from what I can tell, train photography. But he posted. He used to post a lot of videos on Instagram, and then those would circulate from other people of him saying, you know, keep at it, you know, uh, and I guess you'd say, just barring from him for a moment, another good sign of a good photographer, of a great photographer, is someone who uh, is committed to their craft, that they keep practicing it, any opportunity they have, they carry their camera around with them, or they use their phone if they have to, and just see, sorry. Another one. <laughs> yeah, it, it, this is how it is all day with me, so this is this is nothing right now. You're seeing me in the work zone, in work mode, when not doing art history, when I'm doing my own art, this is what happens. But yeah, that's how I would summarize my response. And honestly, don't think about what other people think. Look how green it is, whoa! I know. I'm a little bit I love purple that. over there too, up past this tree. That is so nice. Wow, but this Thank you so much for that. It was a pleasure. Yes, my okay. dude. I'll see you again. I'll see you around. Bye, Bye, yeah. Take care. And then there were two. There were two. Man, the rainy Saturday meetups. If you really want to like talk to people, I want a rainy one. <laughs> yeah, because like they they're so small and like. Or a one-on-one -on -one time. It's a it's a good time to just like chat with somebody one-on-one -on -one and get to know them more. 
Jared, yes. what do you think is the mark of a great street photographer? Ooh. The mark of a great street photographer, I think, it's all subjective, which is interesting, but one thing I think is if you look at the photo and it makes you feel something, that's when it's like, well, this, is, this shot is like something special because it makes you feel something, you have like some kind of an interaction with it. I think that's really important because with street photography, you're shooting a lot. You're taking a lot of photos. Most of them aren't even good. You don't even show them. Um, I think it's easy to just take a lot of photos because you're always shooting, but the mark of a good photo is when they make you feel something. So I think that's, that's the first thing that comes to mind. With street photography, it takes a lot of time. You're walking a lot. Um, I think the mark of a good photographer is dedication and like just coming out even when you don't want to when the weather is rainy when it's cold you would rather stay inside it's like it's still coming out anyway because the more you're out the more you set yourself up to take photos that are the good ones and that you're happy with so I think the consistency and dedication is really important I feel like today is a special day for you hmm. because at the start of like our little photo walk after the meetup, we got recognized for the first time yes. on the street. Stopped <laughs> yeah. on the on the street, not just recognized, because that could have happened anytime. Right. People were just like, I'll let him work. Right. But uh, someone saw you and decided to stop you. Yes. And tell you that your work means something to them. Yeah. How did that feel? It's really crazy. Like, I just got chills even when you were saying that. And, like, when he stopped me, too, I was honestly just shocked, kind of blown away because I'm, I don't know. I don't have, like, a lot of followers. Um, so, first of all, the, the odds of it happening were pretty wild. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but for him to say what he did, I won't repeat it for, like, his no, privacy, he, but yeah. it was just, it meant a lot to hear. And, yeah. for, and it, it was cool to, for me to see, too, because a lot of the times I'll see people that I look up to, that I'm inspired by. Sometimes I feel weird going up to them because I don't want to like, you know, I don't want to bother with them or whatever. Like, oh, I don't want to look weird. But hearing, having that happen to me was pretty wild. Cause that, it meant a lot to me to, for him to stop me and talk. It just, it feels good to know that it actually does connect with somebody. Like you put work out, you don't know what it means or if people are seeing it or if it's actually leaving a mark. But the fact that that happens was really reassuring. Yeah, so we're we going. We're creatives, we're artists, we make stuff to share it. We make stuff to that, that we feel something about. And so we share that because maybe it'll make somebody else feel that same way. Yes. Uh, and I think in the artist's journey, the creator's journey, like there's a couple key steps that you hit. There's, I mean, just deciding to start Mm. There's getting that first tool that you need to really make what you want to make consistently or make it better. Yeah. And then there's people resonating with it. Right. And I feel like this this is that second step with the resonation. It's like you I mean you could post things online and people can see that and leave a like and leave a comment. And that's really nice. But as soon as you start seeing that in person, I feel like that's a whole nother level to it. Yes, definitely. And, and that's like another level to that artist, that creator journey that um, hopefully anybody who gets started with making the stuff gets to experience. Right. How long have you been shooting photography? Seven years. Seven years. Seven years. And the first yeah. time <laughs> just happened. It's pretty so, wild. It's yeah. like, yes. really, like you, yeah. you have to do it for you and the more you do it for you, the more other people are going to find it yes. and start to feel something, they start to feel that same thing you feel yes. when you do it exactly. and yeah. that's the creator journey. It doesn't happen right away. Exactly. Yeah. That's why everyone says it doesn't happen overnight because for an artist to be discovered one day and then like they have a show next month that blows them up, it's like they were already working for 10 years before yeah. they got that show. It's just like, it's so wild. I think it's so fascinating. I met Jared before I even saw his art. So I was automatically a fan. <laughs> but I think to me, it was cool to see somebody 
Like I see the comments on your, your videos. Mm -hmm. I see that. But to see somebody really engage with you in person, I could feel how much that might have meant to you. Yes. And it actually meant a lot to me too because I'm invested in like your journey in, right. way, yeah. in ways and like I, I thought that was so cool. Cool. <laughs> I don't know. I guess that's it. I think we just got to document a nice a nice thing. Yes. And um, I I hope it happens more. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Uh, that'd be really cool. Absolutely. And it's cool. It's just it it's really cool when you do something that starts because you love it and it's something that feels important to you and it feels good to you and you continue to do it and then it's fulfilling you already and then it's like for other people to to say stuff that's nice about it. It's just really cool. I'm still waiting for that somebody to go change from across <laughs> yeah. the street um, because I know that that'll make that'll feel unreal. If you see someone that you admire their art, I suggest that you just go say hi to them. Yes. You're not gonna bother them by saying, I love what you do, keep doing it, keep working hard, and I find it inspiring. I, so that, that's kind of like the message I wanna share here. Not only documenting one of the first times that you've been right. Right, yeah. But just saying like, to not be scared, yes. to say hi, because it means a lot. Yeah, so they could be in like a creative block or a rut and they could be considering stopping and then that day you come up to them and you're like, hey, I love what you're doing. Like, Were you considering stopping today? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Jared, it's going to end it all. Yeah. <laughs> but you never know <laughs> where someone's journey is. So, Yeah. Yeah. No, I completely agree. Yeah. Cool. Well, Let's see. it's a beautiful day in the city and yes. all the rain is gone and that's it for the video. Subscribe to Jared. Yeah. Subscribe to Chitch. Subscribe to me. Subscribe um, to Creators. <laughs> uh, follow Creators on Instagram. Join our broadcast channel to come to one of the the meetups. Come on a rainy day. Come on any Saturday. It's every Saturday, and uh, all the information you need to get to one of the meetups is on the broadcast channel. So uh, I hope that you end up coming to a meetup and that uh, we can see what you make. Yes. Yeah. Um, come shoot with us. Yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs>